Hello guys, welcome to another video. This is one of the most important videos on this channel if you want to move to Central and Eastern Europe. We're going to talk about how to move to Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated countries in Europe. Are you considering moving to Bosnia and Herzegovina? In this video, we will discuss the options to get a residence permit in the country. Before we start, if you want to travel, move or invest abroad, you know what you have to do, hit the like button and, most importantly, subscribe. Let's start. Bosnia is a country in southeastern Europe and was part of the former Yugoslavia. After the fall of Yugoslavia, Bosnia got independent in the 90s. Today, Bosnia is a safe country with a stable economy and probably one of the most underrated places to visit and live in Europe. Let's discuss then how to get a residence permit to live in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina is not a European Union member, therefore EU and non-EU citizens are broadly subject to the same residency laws in the country. The only main difference is between citizens which require a visa to enter Bosnia and the ones who don't need a visa to enter the country. Most citizens of Western countries do not need a visa to enter Bosnia. The list includes EU and US citizens, British as well as Canadian citizens. Citizens of some other countries can enter Bosnia without a visa, such as nationals of Russia, China and Turkey. Those who can enter Bosnia without the need for a visa can apply for a residence permit directly in the country. There are many types of residence permits in Bosnia. The most common ones are for those who are family members of Bosnian citizens or are coming to study or work in the country. However, there are many more interesting possibilities to acquire a residence permit in Bosnia. You can acquire one by owning a company, even as a self-employed person, or buying real estate in the country. These are the permits we will discuss in this video. Firstly, let's talk about how to get a residence permit for business purposes. If you want to start a business in Bosnia, you can easily get a residence permit as a business owner in the country. There are no complicated requirements here. There is not a minimum amount you should invest in the company or any specific number of workers you should hire. In other words, if you are a digital nomad or a remote worker and want to make a Bosnia your base, you can easily do that. If you want to build a business with a higher overhead or more numerous staff like a restaurant or a hotel, you will also fall in this category. Another advantage of running business in Bosnia is its friendly tax system. Bosnia and Herzegovina currently use a flat tax rate of 10% for income earned in Bosnia and abroad. If you don't want to run a business, you can explore the option of getting a residence permit in Bosnia by buying property. If you buy an apartment or house in Bosnia, regardless of its price, you will be eligible for a residence permit in the country. This is a great option if you want to retire in Bosnia. You can buy a property, not necessarily, but potentially live in it and get a permit to live in the country at a minimum cost. If you stay in the country for more than 183 days per year, you will be a tax resident in Bosnia and enjoy the 10% flat tax rate on your global income. Now let's talk about permanent residency in Bosnia and citizenship. If you have lived for a number of years in Bosnia and Herzegovina, you might become eligible to apply for permanent residency and citizenship. To acquire permanent residence in Bosnia, you need to live five consecutive years in the country and among other requirements, know the local language. Getting Bosnian citizenship through naturalization is far more complicated, requiring the applicant to have lived in the country for at least eight years as a permanent resident. And you will also need to know the local language and renounce other citizenships you have. Now we're going to cover the advantages and disadvantages of living in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Firstly, let's talk about the advantages of visiting and living in Bosnia. The first advantage is its beautiful nature and pleasant weather. Bosnia is definitely one of the most underrated destinations in Europe, as I have said. And the first advantage we can point out is a big one, regardless if you are just a tourist or if you are moving to the country for a longer period of time. The country has some of the most beautiful mountains and valleys in all of Europe. It also has a tiny coast on the Adriatic Sea, which is remarkably beautiful. Bosnia has many national parks and if you want to enjoy the outdoors, this is definitely the place for you. All this amazing nature can be enjoyed year-round. Bosnia has four very defined seasons, but temperatures are rarely extreme. The western part of the country has a Mediterranean climate, while towards north and east, the climate is more continental. Winter is also pleasant in Bosnia, with frequent snowfalls on the mountains, but less frequently in cities. Another significant advantage of Bosnia are its relatively low cost of living and low taxes. In most cities in Bosnia, including its capital, you can live comfortably without spending much. 
While groceries cost roughly the same as in other Central European countries, services are usually cheaper. The same applies to real estate, which has quite attractive prices in most parts of Bosnia. This applies to both buying as well as renting real estate. Taxes are another huge advantage in Bosnia and Herzegovina. As I have mentioned before, the 10% flat tax rate is definitely one of the best options if you want to live in Eastern Europe and have an overall low tax burden. The last advantage I'm going to point out in this video, and as I have already mentioned, are Bosnia's easy visa and residence permit requirements. The advantages in this sense are numerous. The fact that you can apply for a residence permit from inside the country if you are coming from a visa-free country is already a good start. Then, being able to apply as a company owner or owning real estate in the country definitely make of Bosnia an appealing place for entrepreneurs, freelancers, remote workers and retirees. Now let's check some facts which I consider a disadvantage about living in Bosnia and Herzegovina. One of the main disadvantages of Bosnia is that it is currently neither part of the European Union nor part of the European Economic Area. While the European Union itself has its disadvantages, for smaller countries like Bosnia, it is usually better to be in it than out of it. The European Union is a huge economic bloc. If you have a company in an EU country, it means that you have access to a huge market with economic powerhouses such as Germany, France and the Netherlands. Bosnia, on the other hand, is not part of it, and it is unlikely to join the bloc anytime soon. While the country currently has the potential candidate to the EU official status, there are strong reasons to believe it is not going to happen anytime soon. The main reason for that is that Bosnia is still greatly divided politically. The future outlook seems positive, and Bosnia is making progress, but it is unlikely that Bosnia will join the EU in the next 10 years. Now let's talk about the Bosnia job market. While Bosnia has a number of opportunities for specific types of individuals, it does not have a thriving job market for European standards. Average wages in Bosnia are far from impressive, but they are in line with many countries in the region, such as Serbia, Romania and Bulgaria. The main concern about the Bosnian job market is unemployment. Despite its recent economic progress, the country has been unable to bring its unemployment rate down to more dynamic levels. Currently, the unemployment rate in Bosnia hovers around 20%. The youth unemployment in Bosnia is much higher. So, even if salaries are not necessarily low for its cost of living, finding a job in Bosnia is a difficult task, even for its citizens. The last disadvantage I'd like to point out about Bosnia is its poor transport infrastructure. Bosnia has been really unlucky for a number of reasons, which made the country to have some of the worst transport infrastructure systems in Europe. Among the reasons affecting transportation in the country are its mountainous landscape and the political situation in the country. Bosnia does have a railway network, however most routes do not have a good number of frequencies, and in many cases trains are slow. Bus transport is quite popular in Bosnia, but they are usually quite slow considering the often winding roads of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The capital Sarajevo has a good number of flights to most European capitals. Low-cost airlines have improved the number of flights to the country, even flying to other cities such as Banja Luka and Tuzla. So, if you want to move to Bosnia or you are already in the country, leave your thoughts and comments below. And that's it for today's video. If you want to travel, move or invest abroad, check our other videos. We have a lot of content about nearby countries such as Montenegro and Croatia. Hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this. And, most importantly, subscribe. See you next time.